Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Nicole Lauren and today I'm going to take you along on speaking at a conference. So today I'm headed over to the Wedding Education Summit, which is in upstate South Carolina. And I'm so excited. I spent the, like the last two hours just getting ready and like figuring out my outfit and all that. I was going to wear a blazer and that just was not working. So I decided on this dress. It's actually from Shein. Um, and I stopped ordering from Shein because I felt bad ethically, but this dress is really cute and I like it. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to take you along today. So I'm wearing my attorney hat today. So this conference is all about wedding professionals and equipping wedding professionals in a bunch of different areas. So there's a lot of amazing speakers over the course of two days. And then there's a big banquet at the end of the conference tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that. But today I'm gonna to be sharing basically all about contracts for creatives, contracts for wedding professionals. So I'm putting my attorney hat on, sharing my knowledge, and basically just dumbing down, dumbing down sounds bad, condensing down a law school class that I took in law school and telling them the basics of contract law, what makes a valid contract, contract clauses you need to have in your business, and common contract mishaps. So things that I've seen happen on Facebook groups and things like that we're gonna talk through today. So I'm really excited. I would be lying if I said that I'm not nervous. I'm a little bit nervous. And I definitely am someone who likes public speaking. I did speech and debate in high school and it was definitely something that I love to do. And I'm very confident when I'm speaking on a video camera and I think that I've just gotten used to that and I've gotten used to showing up on Instagram stories and here on the vlog and on my podcast. And so I don't have that many opportunities to just speak in front of like a big group of people and there's gonna be a lot of people there. It's gonna be in a wedding venue actually. So it's gonna be like a huge group. So I am a little nervous about it and I'm so excited though. Like it's gonna be great, but I'm a little nervous. And this morning I was just running through my speech and like I was gonna to go to the conference a little bit early and hear some of the other speakers. I'm still gonna do that. I'm still gonna head over there a little bit early. I'm, I'm speaking at three and right now it's like 11.30. So I'm still gonna go over and see more people, but I was gonna go like earlier this morning and I just was like, you know what? I'm gonna take my time, get ready, like my look and run through my speech a little bit and kind of take the nerves out. So that's what we're doing, but I'm really excited to take you along on this vlog. And if you're interested in speaking at a conference yourself, if you're wanting to be an educator, then this might be a really good opportunity for you to see the behind the scenes kind of what it looks like. So make sure that you subscribe down below, like this video if you like this content, and I can't wait to take you along for today's events. In the Life vlog would not be complete without these two. They have been waiting for me patiently to get ready and they're just so, they're so cute. They're my little cheerleaders, right? You ready for mommy to do good today? You're in the office and wanted to do a little fit check so you can see what we're working with. So it's kind of a longer dress. It's really, really cute. I love the print on it. It's very fall and it makes me feel in the fall mood. The only thing about it is that it has nothing to do with the dress, <laughs> but my hair, I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but one side of my hair always looks worse than the other side. Like I feel like this one looks like so good. And then this side just is looking not good. So if you have any tips for me, leave them down in the comments because I hate it. Bye, I love you. See you in a little. I'm about to head out, but I wanted to show you how I have my notes set up for the talk. So I created slides in Canva for the presentation that I'm giving, but I also put notes in there in Canva too. So what I ended up doing was downloading the PDF version and flattening it and sending that to the moderator for today so that she's gonna put the slides up for me. I don't have to worry about bringing my laptop or anything like that. But then I'm actually bringing my iPad and on that I've downloaded the PDF version of the presentation with my notes. So there's a checkbox in Canva. If you download the PDF of the slides, you can get the notes added in there as well. So it's not rocket science, but just for the sake of showing you every single thing and walking you through this, in case you want to do this in the future yourself, this is what I'm doing and I think it's going to work really well. So I'll also let you know afterward if I liked it or not, but it saved me, you know, I'm bringing my iPad so that saved me from printing out all these pages too because it ended up being like 39 pages. But let me show you what I did in terms of the slides and the notes. I have you propped up on my kitchen counter right now, but these are the slides. And then at the bottom, it had the notes that I put into Canva. So that's really nice that I'm able to just kind of like scroll through as I'm giving. And these 
these don't look like this on the one that's going to be presented because I flattened that PDF and I didn't do that with this one. So pro tip, make sure you flatten the PDF before you export it. But this is perfect for my purposes. I don't need it to look perfect. Um, but yeah, so all my notes are in here. So hopefully this will be really easy to present from and just having it as an iPad and just like holding it at, during the conference, I think will be really nice. So I'll keep you updated on how that goes. <music> fun I was so nervous like before I was like kind of getting really nervous similar to how I would get before like speech and debate tournaments and once I got up there everyone was so sweet we had a few malfunctions with the slideshow and all that and it was just hilarious but I really was able to share so much great knowledge with them and I felt like they really were benefiting from it and it just reminded me how much like the legal and creative worlds are so different and so divided and how we really do need someone like you know not saying i'm the only person that can do this but someone like me to be able to bridge the gap between the legal and creative worlds and so we talked all about contracts specific contract clauses they should have in their contracts common contract mishaps things to look out for when you're working in weddings as wedding pros and it was just so much fun the energy was amazing speaking at this conference it was my very first conference that i've spoken at it was just so so incredible and i'm really excited to hopefully do this more and be able to speak more but i love like it just reminded me how much i love public speaking how much i love getting in front of people and making people laugh and making them join in and i'm finally home i'm gonna close out the vlog here but it was just brutal traffic on the way home. That's reminded me of the reasons why I love being a full-time business owner because I don't have to worry about going out at the five o'clock traffic, but it was so, so much fun. I had the best time. If you like this type of content, if you like this video, please leave a comment down below, subscribe and like the video so you don't miss any upcoming uploads. There's gonna be a lot more content coming your way soon, but until then, I'll see you next time.